Hi, my name is Ellen Broen, and I just wanted to offer um, my story um, with fitness and coaching and how I went from someone alienated by the health and fitness world to someone who is its primary advocate and has made it part of my career and passion. So um, to go way back, um, it started with emotional eating as a, as a habit ingrained into my childhood. My parents divorced at a rather young age for me, and it was a fairly messy time in our lives um, with family culture. And I moved, and I had to change a lot of things in my life. And with that, um, I resorted to food for a lot of comfort. Uh, so I, I learned that food could be used to make me feel better, and uh, I built a, a solid foundation of bad habits of how how I built my relationship with food, um, my psychological well-being. I started connecting to what I was eating, which is a very crumbly foundation to um, build build your uh, relationship with fitness and wellness. So, um, building off of that, I found solace and a community in the arts and music. And my family is very musical. I have three brothers and two parents who are both extremely musical and talented and dedicated. And um, I actually, my brother and I are professional musicians. I am an opera singer and he's a professional bassoonist. And um, every one of my family plays an instrument, sings and played piano at some point and a stringed instrument. We all just played everything. So. Um, I was kind of absorbed in a world where fitness was not a priority and also a little bit alienating. We, we saw um, people who were absorbed in sports and um, the fitness world as a little bit, we, we judged them to be shallow um, or judgmental of us who were you know, not in the best shape, physical shape and all of that and to just be too concerned with the little things in life and not really getting the big picture of beauty and art and all of the, all of the things that gave me such passion and a sense of belonging. So that led me to becoming a professional opera singer, which I, I still am. Um, but uh, it wasn't until I got to grad school that I made um, several relationships and friendships that were detrimental to my emotional well-being um, and came to a very dramatic and messy end. So I had some roommates who I was friends with and a series of, you know, a network of friends connected to those friendships and I had a recently ended relationship um, and it all came to a crashing end and I was left pretty alone and isolated and I resorted once again um, as my habits had been, had kind of ingrained in me to food. So I gained some weight in grad school and um, was just completely emotionally hollowed out. And I couldn't ever fill the void, obviously, with food. Um, I tried, I, I mean, I went through periods up and down of losing weight and getting toned and, you know, spending hours on the tre treadmill and cardio machines and classes, um, diets, all sorts of things. Um, and it was always a yo-yo. So. Um, I moved out of my apartment and kind of declared to myself that all of these friendships had come to an end and I needed to build me better and me stronger um, to withstand. I, that happened in the middle of my grad school experience. So I still had half of my grad school experience left to survive and I needed to work on me. So I joined this fitness challenge that my friend had posted about on Facebook and she had had some good results losing, you know, a little bit of weight and just gained a lot of confidence and energy and enthusiasm for life. So I just felt at the time that this was a perfect kind of reboot for me to I wasn't anticipating getting any sort of emotional growth out of it. I just wanted to lose the pounds that I had put on from all of the emotional eating and, you know, maybe pick up some, some fitness tips since I was a little bit um, naive. You know, I just didn't really know what I was doing. Uh, I would just plonk myself on a treadmill for a long time and maybe a couple machines here and there, but really had no regime or anything. So I had great success with it, but more importantly, um, 
I found another sense of community that in the same way that how I had gained weight and felt alienated as a young child and found a community and wholeness in music. Now I still have music in my life and that is a great source of passion and fulfillment for me personally, but I was losing that sense of community that was essential to my identity as a musician. So in, in this time in my life, I was searching for this sense of community and I was searching for something that would build a stronger foundation in my, in my self-esteem and my image, my self-image and all of that. And through this community of a fitness challenge, um, I was not an alien. I was not ignorant. I was welcomed and taught and felt like I had something to offer, even though I felt like I knew nothing about nutrition and fitness. I still had ideas that people hadn't thought of. And I had, I felt like I had, um, a story to tell that, um, over my transformation of losing some weight and more importantly, gaining, you know, self-confidence and, um, and a sense of empowerment uh, that I had a story to tell and that people wanted to hear it. So, um, along with the group of the community who supported me and who loved me and who, you know, contributed to this, um, to this building up in my life, there was also a sense of passion that I found for um, health and wellness and how, what a difference it makes um, in the way I wake up in the morning and the way I go throughout my day and the way I sleep and the way I sing and the way I look at life. I mean, just feeling better and, and, and having a deeply rooted sense of confidence and um, uh, wellness and balance was essential that I didn't even know I was missing. So I have now um, decided to become a coach um, as um, a supplement to my musical career. And it, it dawned on me at some point that there were, I wasn't alone. I wasn't the only person who felt alienated from the fitness and health community. I wasn't the only person who was a musician and didn't really have a lot of maybe didn't assume there was a lot in common between athletes and me or didn't feel like I would ever have any sort of body that resembled theirs, that I was just kind of born this way and this is what my body wants to look like, so I can't really fight it. So I assumed that I was stuck in this body. I assumed that I would never have the time or energy or willingness to be an athlete or be um, fit. Um, let alone be someone who helped other people do that. But with this new and inspired passion of mine and this community that supported me and that I wanted to spread to other people, I have become a coach and not only just a coach, but a lifestyle and wellness coach for musicians and opera singers. And really, I mean, it's really for anybody who has ever felt um, alienated or um, unknowledgeable or just really never had a sense of foundation for your for learning good nutrition um, and wellness and balance and health um, so that's where I am and I for, I formed my own business called operation fitness but opera fit for short um, it is welcome to absolutely more than opera singers, of course, musicians, um, people who travel all the time, people who are in a period of change and emotional um, need emotional growth or um, I really, I mean, really it's truly for anyone who just needs um, a community and who needs change and who needs um, to reconnect to something deeper within yourself. Um, so that's my story. I just wanted to share it with all of you. Um, please do let me know if you have any questions or if you, are you feeling lost or feeling abandoned um, by something greater in your life or um, are just looking for change and a sense of community and um, commitment to helping you be a better you and a, a fuller you. So there you have it. That's my story. And um, thanks for listening. I will see you soon. Okay. Bye.